Today I'm going to show you how to make a stealth laptop. Um, we're going to take a laptop, we're going to rip the camera out of it as well as the hard drive, and you're going to say, how do you make that work? Well, the way we're going to use this laptop is we're only going to be booting off of bootable flash drives, so everything is saved inside the RAM, and as soon as we unplug our bootable devices, it just completely wipes everything on the computer. There is nothing left and nothing stored on these devices. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to build that today. Now, depending on how old the laptop you already have or the laptop you just bought, I just purchased this uh, newly updated uh, HP Stream. Very cheap laptop, but it has 16 gigs of RAM and only 64 gigs of storage. Don't care about the storage because I'll be ripping it out on this device. But the, the 16 gigs of RAM DDR4 is what I'm interested in. So when I'm using these bootable devices, uh, everything's done in the RAM. So the more RAM I have, the better performance I will have. So when it comes to old laptops that you own, or you, if I was to rip apart this one live, this, this is an easier demonstration to have all this stuff ready to go for you. This is the two things I would be ripping out, the hard drive. So depending on what kind you got, like mine, this device has a hard drive that looks like this. This little tiny thing is actually a hard drive. This one has 64 gigs of storage on it, just like this device here. Or you have something, an older laptop that kind of looks like this, these old styled uh, flash hard drives. I would be completely removing these. And then the next step I would do is removing the microphone and camera. Now we could just disable it, but we're going to be completely removing the microphone and camera because it's very easy to manipulate a microphone and camera to say that they're not working, but they actually are. So in this one, I already ripped it out. So this would be your laptop screen. If you take away the plastic border here, the way they have it usually set up is that there's a cord that connects all the way up. So you'll see it like this all the way up. And it goes right where the camera would be. So on this device, I actually left it in. So here's, here is, um, the laptop screen the camera is right behind here you rip it apart that's your microphone and camera right there so what i would do i would pry this off and just rip it off i mean i would actually cut it so that's on my microphone and camera combo i would just simply done now the camera and microphone are completely disabled and I, I mean completely removed way better being disabled so now that that's gone and your hard drive is gone, you can put this guy back together and I'll show you what it will look like after you put it together and how to set it up so it boots off your flash drive every single time. The next step is booting into your BIOS. So you have two things you need to do. One, you need to disable secure boot. And two, you're going to want to have the computer boot off a flash drive first and then to the hard drive. But in our case, we don't have a hard drive, so you just want it to boot off a flash drive first. So it'll make it easier as soon as you plug it in, the computer just knows, oh, boot off that first it just makes it easier there we are got secure boot right there it says it's enabled we are going to disable it disable we go to the boot order we want to move that up there we go so now it will boot off the flash drive first and then uh, and we also disable the secure boot so now we're ready to hit save and boot off of a flash drive all right, so this is a functioning laptop. Everything you see right here is actually working. So it's giving you this error message saying there's no hard drive detected. There's nothing to boot off of. And that's because we disabled it. We took out the hard drive. And uh, again, you might have a hard drive that looks like this or one of those tiny small ones that look like, like this. So that's removed. And remember, we also ripped out the camera. So this, is our, this was our camera microphone combo at the top. We also disabled and we actually just tore out that. So there's no mic. There's no camera. So now, how do you get this thing to boot at all? So now I have my bootable Tails flash drive. I'm gonna restart this, have this plugged in, and this should just boot off of this. All right, now it's booting. I can already tell it's loading into Tails as we speak. And everything that's happening right now is that, again, there's no hard drive. Everything's being done in the RAM. It's all short-term memory right here between this and the flash drive. And by the time I turn off this computer, it just disappears. It never existed. There's nothing ever saved to the computer. So if this ever was to get compromised in any way, there is nothing on the computer to get compromised. So the only thing is what you have here. There's nothing saved to this machine. Nothing can ever be saved to this machine. There is nothing to store data on here. Nothing. And if you really want to be uh, secretive, these uh, tails, flash drive, bootable flash drives here, make sure there's no persistence. And even that won't save anything onto there. And uh, I've also made a couple of these too. So I have tails installed on this tiny micro SD card that can plug into a computer with this USB-C connection. Um, I mean, this is pretty easy to break in half if you had to. Um, I mean, it's just for, I'm just, I'm just trying to prove, prove concepts here. And this is also, this is, oop, and I always brought, drop stuff. This is not just a normal card. <sighs> so this is not just a normal card. This is actually a flash drive. This I plug in, this has tails on it as well. 
I can fit this right in my wallet. All right, so we're in the setup menu. So I can, I'm about to set, I'm, I'm gonna just go through the prompts real quick and get this to boot up. Again, this gutted out laptop is working. There's no hard drive. As you can see, it's completely ripped out. Microphone camera ripped out. Everything is being done off of the RAM in this flash drive. And just like that, we're in a fully functioning operating system. We can use this as a normal laptop. There's no hard drive. Again, everything is being done right here. And as soon as I unplug this device, it's gone forever. Nothing ever gets saved. This is the Ghost Rats Ghost Computer. All right, and there's the flash drive. I have it completely detached, and there's that error message. There's no hard drive, nothing on this computer. Again, being private online, using operating systems like Kali Linux and Parrot Security and Parrot Home and my favorite, Tails, designed to keep you private online. There's things you can do on the dark web to keep your messages and send files privately, um, and it gets erased just like how this gets erased. So, And this is a really cool concept, right? These, this is a ghost computer. There is nothing saved ever on this device. You just do your business and go. And uh, this is solely for educational purposes only. I do not condone legal activity. Uh, I just want to sh spread awareness. I really wanted to make this build before, and uh, I love these ghost computers because, again, it's just, I mean, how can, you can't be any more private than this. If I was to leave this at a coffee shop, and, I, and it would mean nothing. Like, and there's no information anybody could take off of it because there's no, nothing here to be stored. Like, there's nothing can hold any of that information. You just can't. Everything's done within the RAM. That's temporary. As, long, as soon as that turns off, it forgets everything. And the same thing with these flash drives. It's plug and play. And you can do it, like I said, I have a, I got a cool card. that has a flash drive built into it. You can do it off the micro SD cards. And this is one of my favorites. Uh, I can plug in. I have multiple uh, Linux operating systems. I have Kali, Parrot Security, and Tails. This is my Tails one. These micro SD cards, I can pop, uh, these micro SD cards, I can pop in and out. These are ghost computers. And then if I really wanted to, that's that's my whole computer right there, this micro SD card. It's crazy. It's that simple. If you, you have burner phones, this is like a burner computer. Um, again, for educational purposes only, oh, but this is a completely, like, oh, like I want to say off-grid, but like this is a, a ghost computer. This doesn't exist. As soon as you unplug it, it disappears. You saw it in the earlier. We get all those errors, and then it just crashes out. I think that's such a cool cool thing that you can do and it's not it's not hard to do this this right here is an old laptop i took apart um if you have an old laptop around because these linux distros they don't use that much resources so you can get it with all these old laptops that i take from people and uh and they get donated to the channel i rip them apart and i, I make cool projects out of them this was going to be a project like i said in the suitcase and uh this is my new uh, my new crap top uh laptop here uh, I'm going to be building dark web servers off of this for you guys in the Discord. And uh, got cool things coming to the channel. So, again, this is for educational purposes. I can't emphasize that enough. I just I just wanted to prove a concept that this can exist and this could be very dangerous. So, let me know in the comments if you, if you think there's a way this could be compromised at all. I don't think there is a way for it to be compromised. I think this is pretty impen uh, impenetrable. Um, I, I think this is just, this is like the perfect ghost computer. Or we can label this the burner computer, right? I mean, it's basically like a burner phone, burner computer. So, and, uh, all right. So, remember, safety is an illusion. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.